Five days a week, a local Saints fan and his partner in crime march five miles round trip to spread some love, smiles, and chants of who dat. Lauren Bale tagged along and brings us their story. You ready, buddy? Hold on. Every morning, Joel and King put on their Saints gear. There we go. And head out the door. Dress from head. I have my Florida Lee glasses, as you can see. To toe. I have Saints socks. Oh my God. In black and gold. Together, man and friend head off to spread some Saints cheer. Come on, you ready, King? Who that? Who that say they're gonna beat them Saints? For five miles, they stroll down the street. Don't pull me, King. You and you trying to run away? <laughs> Bringing smiles to the faces of everyone they pass. Hey. Once they get to Holy Cross High School on Paris Avenue, they turn around and walk back home. <laughs> yeah. Why? I love to hear that I can give off some good vibes to make somebody else feel good about day day. Pamela Mouton is one of those people that Joel and them. King pass by. Like you could be in a really horrible mood, uh, things, you know, shuffling around in your head. And when you come down Paris Avenue, he makes you smile. Who that say they gonna beat them same? Regardless of what happens Sunday, Joel and King will continue to march, and they'll continue to sport their team colors. Win, lose, or draw. Because for them, it's about more than the Saints. It's about home. You fall in love with it. You know, you fall in love with everything, the, the culture, the food, the people. Joel and King are part of the fabric of this city that keeps you coming back for more. It's no people like New Orleans. Lauren Bale, Eyewitness News.